impact of climate change can be seen around the globe. It's happening now, and hundreds of millions of people are already suffering the consequences, as detailed in a groundbreaking report by the Global Humanitarian Forum. Floods and rising sea levels have already taken their toll, along with droughts and desertification. 325 million people a year see their livelihoods undermined or destroyed, states the Human Impact Report. It adds that this is set to more than double to 660 million, or 10% of the world's population, by 2030. Climate change is not something that is waiting to happen. It is having a real impact on communities and individuals around the world. Some of them are losing their islands, others have lost their farmlands. More than 300,000 people die annually as a result of climate change. 90% of them from malnutrition, diarrhea and malaria, the remaining 10% from extreme weather events. The number is expected to rise to more than half a million by 2030. When I go and visit people, so many of them from Afghanistan to Uganda say they know something's happened to the climate. The rains are not coming at the usual times, but they really have no understanding why that's happening. More than 4 billion people, around 60% of the world's population, are vulnerable to climate change. Half a billion people in developing countries are at extreme risk, many of them in some of the poorest areas of the world, such as sub-Saharan Africa, according to the report's findings. Humanitarian aid provides relief in many emergencies, but it's not always the best answer to the deadly crises brought about over time by climate change, such as drought. And that's one of the disasters that we understand least about, and also the one that the international community has had great difficulties in coping with. And that's probably one of the reasons why it is so deadly, that it's been treated as a disaster, but it's a very fundamental development issue. The report puts a human face on climate change by putting people at its heart. Rather than underscoring abstract scientific data, it's the first comprehensive study specifically focused on the adverse effects of climate change on human society. It aims to be meaningful to the general public and useful to policymakers. I mean, this report is a starting point, clearly. Yeah? It will, in particular, prompt many people in the research community, but also among the organizations, uh, to take it more seriously, the issue. And we have to get our acts together now. This is where we have to tell the world that unless we look at the humanitarian dimensions, of the problem, then clearly we are likely to have a disruption in society in several parts of the world. We are even likely to have failed states. Developing countries bear more than 90% of the burden of climate change while contributing least to the causes, the report states. 99% of deaths linked to climate change occur in developing countries, which often emit the lowest carbon emissions. The report comes at a critical time, just six months before a new deal is due to be thrashed out by negotiators in Copenhagen to set new levels on emissions. Current adaptation efforts to reduce the human impact of climate change were woefully inadequate and needed to be scaled up a hundred times in developing countries. Despite the dramatic consequences of climate change outlined in the report, it warns that its findings are very conservative and the true human impact is likely to be far more severe.